What is up guys, you're in us, your boy Kagi back at it again, this time around week 2 of the World Cup duos, highlights and analysis. I hope you enjoy the video, let's get it baby, winners club. This video is brought to you by Brave, the fastest, the safest and the most private browser in the market. You can block ads, you can support your favorite creator and you can earn money by using it. The browser is totally free and is available in every single device. You can try it right now with the link in my description. All right, let's jump right into game one, week two duels, World Cup semifinals. I went into the game with myself. As you can see in the top left, there's two Kagi Jans. That's right, I had two accounts on Champions League so I played with myself because I did not have a teammate so game one I decided to go to Lonely Lodge or around it to get a ball um, here I miss this ball but I get the other one and boom I get out I decided to loot on the go in different places so here it's getting late in the game um, my materials are looking pretty decent my loot it doesn't look that good I have a pretty good shotgun now I have health you know a shield extra shield have a sniper i don't have an ar i had to skip a lot of small towns because i saw people around it right here i have a pretty good positioning i'm in the viking town i have a high ground there's nobody around me i'm still in the circle so the circle takes me out of my high ground i gotta go down into the ice so check this out here i set up pretty well i have two teams one in front of me and one behind me only if they knew, only if they knew that I was by myself. That's a good thing about being by yourself at the end when it comes to duos. Um, people don't know like how many people are around, right? People are boxed in, they're trying to, you know, play for placement. So I, have an, I don't have an advantage, but I do have some room to work with at the end. I almost killed that guy. I really wanted that kill. I couldn't get it. Boom, the guy rifted. So I landed right here. I settled pretty well. My builds are looking way better than week one. Week one, I was, it was horrible. At least here I have control of what I'm doing. Um, PC for me, I, I just can't do it yet. So I get out of my box right here. Mistake number one, I should have killed that guy. Uh, mistake number two right here I should have killed that guy then rifted but it's easy to say when you're looking at it after the game is done but those are the things that you gotta make a decision and you can't choke right so I, I feel like those two could have been a kill they, they, they were potential kills potential kills um, I stay in between the trees because I know nobody's gonna come through here so I use the trees in my favor I see somebody right here I boom pump this, this time around I did I went for a boom this guy have no idea how he killed me. I have no idea how he killed me. He hit that shot there. Pretty good shot. But it was a pretty good game. Four point game. Okay. Good placement. Okay. One kill. It's decent. Decent. It's pretty decent. So this is game two. I landed in the same exact spot as game one. And the ball was not contested. Here we fast forward. We look at my materials. I'm looking pretty damn good on materials. Um, in terms of loot, I'm looking pretty good. Everything green. I got shields. I got health. Um, I got a great positioning. I got a ball. So I'm looking really, really good. Somebody approaches me. Um, I decide to take the challenge instead of leaving. I think I have the, the right loot to do this. So right here, I hit this guy 123. Boom. I know this guy's almost dead. Um, I should have been more aggressive with my edits. I choked a little bit with my edits and my builds. I hit him again right here, 76. I know this guy is almost dead. I should have built right there. I should have built. I don't know why I didn't build. I thought the guy was going to... For some reason, I thought the guy was going to give up his position. Boom, right here. I put a stairs. I go under the stairs. And the guy, I look at his health and he's one health. One health. Look, he's at 51. So the game cheated me there, honestly. Yes, I did a few things wrong. I should have been more aggressive with my builds. And for sure, I could have, I could have killed him. Get high ground on him. And I, I, would have, I would have destroyed that guy. I mean, I hit him twice from low ground. I just, I just had to build a little bit more. 
and I had the materials to do it. So why didn't I do it? I choked. Simple. And a little bit unfortunate that the game gave this guy one fucking health and a dream, basically. All right, let's jump into game three. I landed by the volcano, by the pirate location. It had a ball. I pretty much stayed there the whole game. The circle ended on me. So I stayed there the whole game. I only got brick out of that place. Basically, everything else that I got was, I barely got it. You know, like uh, wood and, and metal. My loot is looking pretty trash. I do have health, so that's pretty good. I go for the supply drop to see if I can get something better. You know, a better gun. And there it is, scar, boom. I'm like, I'm pretty excited. And here, boom, somebody comes into my box with a grenade, with an impulse grenade. Nobody ever does that. Look at his name, Troll Suave. Like, he literally, he's a troll. Like, nobody plays like that. Nobody would ever risk that much getting out and impulsing into somebody's build, you know? I got fucking rocked. That's the truth. But it was a mistake that I made not closing the top. Uh, my thought process was like, yo, I'm going to get this supply drop. I'm not going to waste too much materials. I knew I didn't have that much. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get the supply drop and get out of here because I don't want to be centered in the circle so I don't get spammed by, you know, multiple teams. I, I like to be in the edge of the circles usually because that, that way you have more control of you. You only have to worry about what's in front of you. Now, what's behind you? Sometimes there's people to your right or left, but mostly what's in front of you. If you're centered, you got to worry about the person that is behind you to your left, to your right. Like, you can get spammed, easily spammed from, like, anywhere, anywhere in the, in the circle. So, yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. All right, so we're in game four. I landed a tilted. Um, I was pretty upset about game three, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to land tilted. I'm so comfortable in Tilted no matter what, even in, in, in scrims and, you know, tournaments, uh, Tilted is like my place because um, you don't have to build much and it's more like positioning. Where you position yourself in the in, in the doors and how do you use the, the walls to your advantage and I like that kind of gameplay. Um, so I went Tilted to see if I could like you know, get a few kills and, and yeah, here's how I went. So here, I find a kill right here, boom, I third party. Oh, I hate that, sh that knockdown shield. I, should, I think they should take it off. I think they should take off the knockdown shield for, for competitive. I mean, I get it that you put knockdown shields for, for pubs, you know, so that kids and people that are not trying hard are like, you know, have a chance to actually surviving. So right here again, unfortunately, my controller didn't want to run. I have auto run. It just, it does that sometimes. I don't know why. Um, so they kill me. Good for them. GG's. And here's my second account. I think I died in the storm. Yeah. I attempted to, I think I attempted to survive. Yeah. But I think I died. Let's see. Absolutely, I died. I found bandages. I popped one and boom, I died right here. So game five, I landed in the pirate location by the desert. Um, pretty interesting, I died right away, but I'm left with my second account. So here we are in game five still um, with my other account. I quit on the other one because th there was no point of me staying in the game. Uh, I'm trying to figure out my frame rate and shit because this computer that I have my second account connected to does not have a good graphics card. It's uh, a streaming PC. So I'm getting pretty lucky throughout the camping. <laughs> the circle is ending on me every single time. So here I am rotating with the shittiest fucking frame rate. Um, just trying to get the points, the the placement points. Basically, I used this account throughout the whole tournament just for placement. Whenever I could, if I had the chance to, to get a better placement than I did. Right here, I get out of the box. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna place myself in the bottom of the mountain, in the side of the mountain, so nobody can see me. So here I get out of my box. I know I don't have a lot of builds, but I'm just gonna stretch it so that I can get points, placement points. Uh, the, the frame rate is horrible. I did want to get a few kills, so I, I actually kind of, I, I wanted to test it. I wanted to test 
how much I could do with this frame rate. And I actually, instead of going forward, I kind of just went to the left. Like, this is what I would have done if I was in my other account, in my other computer, for sure. You know, play the edge of the circle and try to get these kills. And I'm pretty sure I could have gotten those kills if I was in the other account. Because I was playing for that right here. Boom. I'm, I'm waiting for those people to, to jump down so I could go behind them and kill them right there. But I, this frame rate is just trash. Trash. Like, I can't do anything, right? But at least I got placement points. I got seven points in that game. All right, so we jump into game six. Um, I get sandwiched in the most random spot in the fucking map. I landed in the back of paradise and his team is on top of the mountain and this guy is in front of me and I just quit because fuck it, I knew I was dead. Uh, so I got sandwiched there and it kind of sucked. So I actually, so this is game six still with the other account with my shitty computer. And I try to get a placement but it didn't work out it just didn't work out there was still 34 people left in that circle and right here the frame rate boom i get fucking shot but i tried i tried so this is game seven i landed a retail right now we're pretty advanced in the game i'm gonna have pretty good loot i have a blue uh pump i have a, a scar I got a blue SMG, I got redeployment, and I got shield. So I'm looking pretty good. I'm looking pretty good. I have control of the circle. Um, th this whole building is mine. There's a few people around there, but the whole building is mine. Um, I already have uh, placement points at this point, I believe so. Yes, I got, uh, I got three points in this game already. So that's the goal. You know, get points, placement points. Here I try to rotate. I think they destroyed my ball, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I destroyed my ball right there. Sometimes I go into edit mode by mistake. Because I have it on L3. That happened there again. Just the edit mode, man. It messes me up all the time. I'm still trying to get used to that edit. Right there, I show, I'm showing my skills. Not bad. Edit mode again there. I gotta fix that. That's one of those mistakes that I keep doing. But I know I'll get there. I'll get there. Eventually, I'll get there. So I get the high ground right here because I know I have um, redeployment. So I don't really mind it. Edit it was horrible there. Got to work on that. But I still, I still made it to the end. So, so I'm pretty satisfied here. In, in those terms, right here, um, I try to get high ground because it's over the the hill. Oh my god, I got stuck. That's what happened. This game is trash. That sucks. That fucking absolutely sucks. I don't think I had to do all that high ground shit. Now that I think about it, that was a mistake. I could have just went on the side of the mountain. Um, I didn't read the map the right way. I, I really thought it was on top of the, the mountain. Now that I see it, it's on the side of the mountain. So I had no need. I could have just one by one by one, one by one, one by one in low ground and make it to, to the circle. And I would have gotten uh, a few extra points. But I did get 5 points in total there. I had 12 points and now I have uh, 17 at this point. So not bad, not bad. So this is game 8. I made sure I landed um, on a gun. I already had seen this guy. I landed at Salty. So I was like, you know what? I gotta go all out. Fuck it, man. I gotta get some points here, you know? So this time around, I was like, fuck it, man. I'm just gonna push forward. And I said, boom, I kill this guy. I dance on him, you know. A little dance there. Right here, I get a second kill. Here's the thing. Most people are full sending the last few games. This is game eight. So the last three games, people are usually full sending because they don't have time left. They only give you three, uh, three hours. 
to play 10 games. If you play those 10 games, if you try to play those 10 games in full time, you won't be able to make it. If you make the math, it takes like 20 to 25 minutes to play a full game and they only give you three hours. So there's like three games that you gotta throw away and you gotta full send and try to get kills. So usually people leave it for the end. So this is still game eight. Uh, I'm just going for builds. I'm in the shitty account. I died in the other one. So this one, the frame rates are horrible. I should hit for 55. But I got uh, I got placement points. So here at Land Tilted, uh, there's not much time left. This is game nine. My pump right here, boom, hits for 70. That's fucking stupid. It's a blue pump that I'm using. Uh, it was weird. It was weird, so... Alright, so this is game 10. I'm pretty much full send. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm just trying to get some kills at this point. The mistakes that I made last week are not the same that I made this week. I actually actually did better this week compared to what I did last week in terms of mistakes. You know, I, I fixed a lot of mistakes. Like I, I, I started getting more, more loot. I started getting more, more materials. Um, my builds are better because I'm on controller so I have improved I have improved from one week to the other one I have improved um, there's still things that I do like this right here I go into edit mode oh on the God. controller that I gotta I gotta fix that I gotta fix I can't, I can't keep doing that if I keep doing it, I'm just gonna keep dying there I died because I went into edit mode and if I go into edit mode by mistake which probably will happen again I have to be able to get out of edit mode as quick as possible and build, right? It always shocks me every time I go into edit mode by mistake and I'm like, fuck! And instead of just solving the issue and getting out and just building, and right? I, I get frustrated and I, I die. So that's pretty much it for the highlights and for the analysis. I think moving forward for the next tournament, I gotta, um, I gotta be able to build better. Got to be a little bit more aggressive and fix, you know, my edit, fix my edit. So those are the three points. This video is brought to you by Brave, the fastest, the safest, and the most private browser in the market. You could block ads, you could support your favorite creator, and you can earn money by using it. The browser is totally free and is available in every single device. You can try right now with the link in my description.